Hey guys, James here with Detailed Image. Today I wanted to go over one step polishing, but specifically I wanted to go over Menzerna's Medium Cut Polish 2500. Now this particular polish is a great one step, something that can be used on decently scratched paintwork to kind of really revive it, not necessarily maybe remove everything, but make a huge difference. And at the same time, it can, it's a polish that can be used as, as a finishing polish in, in a two-step correction or a three-step correction. Um, it's a polish that I've used over the years. It's a polish that, again, is super versatile. A lot, I mean, if you guys remember um, the last video on the Heavy Co Compound 400, this polish kind of fits into the next step, which would be to refine the finish in a two-step. But what this video specifically is going to be all about is using it in a one-step. What is a one-step? Basically, a one-step is when you pick a dedicated polish, a dedicated pad on a machine, and you try to get the best of both worlds. You try to get as much cuts or as much defect removal as you can while having good enough clarity to basically leave it alone have it be just in one step so you're not you wouldn't be going back and finishing it down and using more pads and more polishes you're trying to do it all in one all in one go um so uh what i wanted to do is, is showcase a couple of things um obviously here we have the paint as it lies pretty swirled up pretty scratched um here we're going to do the one step so we're going to use on the mark ii uh, Rupes 15, we have a Lake Country HDO polishing pad, and we're going to do the medium cut polish uh, with that. And here, I use the Heavy Cut Compound 400 first as a cutting step, um, and I'm going to show the, fit, um, the refining abilities, the polishing abilities of this, uh, of this polish as well in a two-step uh, correction. So we're going to kind of see it all unfold. We're going to see it as a one-step and then as a, the refining step in a two-step. It's a, saying a lot of steps, but um, hope you guys enjoy it. Um, so let's get right into it. Um, I just used this. Um, I just did a polishing cycle with this with this polish, so you can see how the pad is is lightly used. Um, what I've just done is clean this pad. So take a microfiber towel, um, basically hold it right here, run the machine, remove that polishing residue. So now we're ready to go. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do about four. Um, dime size drops on this on the pad here um, and I'm going to get right into it. So I've got my scan grip for checking. Um, let's go here. Let's go tap, 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 tap. Okay, so I'm going to polish this section here. We're going to see what we can get out um, in this one step and then I'm going to bring you guys in and show you kind of uh, the, the whole uh, the whole panel here and all the different uh, all the different zones we got set up. Um, so let's get right into it. Uh, take note. So a couple things about one steps. Uh, because you're, we're trying to get as much cut as possible, um, I am using slower arm movement. I'm using more pressure. I'm trying to maximize the cutting ability while not um, while still getting great clarity um, and still refining the finish nicely. So. Um, we'll see what we get after this. I'm going to use decent pressure, really slow our movements, let that polish, let those diminishing abrasives work, um, and cut into that paint. So let's take a look. So let's bring it in. Let's get our removal cloth. Uh, one of my absolute favorite towels, the Rag Company Edgeless 300. Um, awesome, awesome polish removal cloth. So let's see. First off, what, you know, when I was using it, um, really liked the work time. I probably did about four cross hatch patterns. Pretty darn heavy pressure. Um, really, really, really slow, slow arm movements. Um, and we're working on a paint. Um, that's probably right down the middle. So if you guys remember the compounding video, uh, this is that same Jaguar. Um, and this particular paint is right down the middle. So it's, it's not super soft, not super hard. Um, so it's a good, I think, it's a good candidate for, uh, for a one step. So what I'm seeing right out of the gate um, is 
really, really nice clarity. So no haze to it, very, very nice gloss, um, but a couple of rids, right? A couple of random deeper scratches, and that's totally to be expected, right? From a one step, you know, there's always gonna be the compromise. There's always gonna be a couple things left over, but overall, a really, really nice finish and great defect removal if we, I mean, you guys will see exactly what I'm talking about, um, but just really, really nice finish for for a one step and great defect removal. I mean, from a panel that was absolutely swirled up, I mean, we probably have maybe one or two rids left over that are gonna be very, very difficult to see. And that's where the, a polish like this comes, comes into play is it gives you options, it gives the client options. Not every client is gonna want a multi-stage paint correction, but does this work in one? Absolutely. You know, sometimes, you know, a, a particular car is gonna call for a one step and that's where a product like this is going to excel. Um, you're going to blow away the client, get tons of defect removal, and be able to, to reduce the time in which it, take, it, it takes to, to, to accomplish the job. Um, same thing for enthusiasts. You know, if you're just starting out and you're like, okay, I want to just, I need one polish. You know, there's a thousand. You know, where do I go? Where do I start? You know, this is not a bad start, right? This is, you could learn a lot about correction with a polish like this. Um, so I just wanted to highlight you know, the Mizerna um, medium cut 2500 a little bit as a one step. Um, again, I so appreciate you guys uh, watching. If you have any questions, let us know. Um, comment below, um, and we'll see you guys next time.